everybody. So, I just thought I'd um, do a video today and give you an update about what's been going on in the last week. Um, so I talked about in my last video um, how we had a huge storm here in our area and like 10 minutes down the road there was a tornado that touched down and it just wreaked havoc. It wasn't like a tornado you see in like Kansas but um, it did a lot of damage and um, just just trees down everywhere, lines down everywhere. They said there was like 600,000 people without power. Um, yeah, so it was a big storm. And um, I thought it caught me off guard. I think I learned some lessons and I wanted to share them with you today. Um, my first one, my first lesson, I have three things I want to talk about. My first lesson is that um, I have to learn to be more prepared. I, you know, I, I was like, oh, I'm parked in my friend's driveway, whatever. She's got, you know, um, they have a farm, she's got power and water, and I, it's, I think people get a false, in general, people get a false sense of hope, or false sense of, not hope, false sense of security. Um, and, um, when something like this happens, um, you have to still have your needs met. Luckily, it's just me. Like, I don't have kids, I don't have a spouse, I don't have peop animal, pets, I don't have anyone to depend on me except for me. So, um, in the grand scheme of all of this, I think I made out pretty good. Like, um, here at the farm, um, they had to figure out how to get water and, um, you know, they lost the food in their fridge. My best friend still, it's Monday afternoon and she still doesn't have power. So, um, you know, they're, luckily they have a generator, but, um, I wasn't prepared like I needed to be. I have my Jackery 1000, I have my Jackery 160, um, and they were not fully charged when the power went out, and so, um, it was blazing hot. To be comfortable in, in the coach, I need to run my three fans and, um, power my refrigerator, my fridge freezer. So that's like a hundred, like 110, 120 watts of constant power I need when it's really hot in here. Um, and the, the Jackery, both the Jackeries just um, use that, it used them right up within, well it got me through the night, so 12 hours maybe. And so um, I was lucky and my best friend had to go to work and her job, she just, <laughs> I dropped the Jackery off at her job and she charged it for me and that was a lifesaver. Um, it got me through a whole nother day. And then um, Saturday, uh, the power didn't come on until way late on Saturday. And Saturday, um, you know, when there's, I'm, I'm a firm believer of when something's going on, when there's a, a weather event or some kind of something going on, you check on your neighbors. Like, you check on the older people and people who might need something, you know, special needs people, whatever, you always check on them. And so I went down the road to check on uh, some really nice people down the road. They, um, the husband um, does remodels vintage Airstreams, and he's amazing, it's really cool, and he knows a lot of stuff, and He's a nice guy. So I went down there to check on them, and they had a generator. Uh, um, they actually had the generator that I'm going to end up purchasing now, because uh, lesson learned. Um, they had the Honda 2200, and for years since I've been doing this, um, I was planning on getting um, that generator. But then I, got the ja I, I went down the road of the Jackery, and I was like, oh, I'll get a solar panel, and... I won't need to worry about it, it'll be fine. So, 
and it's not fine. Number one, I never got a solar panel, but in this situation, it wouldn't have been much of a help to me because, um, it, it was cloudy and a lot of people, including myself, I didn't know up until, you know, last couple years that you don't get much for power at all off of a solar panel if you actually can't see the sun, if it's not clear skies and you actually can't see the sun. So cloudy days, you're not going to get anything or much more than like a trickle or something. So um, after the storm, we had cloudy days and it wouldn't have helped me anyway. Um, but I still want to get at least one solar panel for the Jackery. Um, for both, you know, both my little Jackery and the big one. And, um, when I went over to the neighbor's house, he was, he showed me how the whole, I had seen on YouTube, you know, and watching YouTube videos of, um, the Honda 2200. And I was like, is it really that quiet? And so he's like, go start it up. He showed me how to turn on, start it up, start. I mean, it was e so easy to use. And it's so, so quiet. So, 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 so. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really think I'm going to get it. It's an investment. It's like $1,200 brand new. He bought his off of Facebook off of some guy that hardly ever used it for 800 So he got a good deal. Um... But, uh, he, he, he let me use it and we charged the Jackery and it was great. And I, so now I'm convinced I need to get the, the Honda generator because I want to be able to boondock. Like I don't want to be able to, I don't want to have to be reliant on someone else's power. Granted, in a big natural disaster, you might not be able to find gas, which is a whole nother problem. But, um, it's a, it's a backup. It's a backup to the backup, and hopefully that'll make my life a lot easier in the next situation. So, yeah. I've learned I need to get, I need to be more prepared. I need to get a generator and a solar panel. Um, also I think I'm going to look into, uh, what do they call those? A portable bladder for water it's like collapsible collapsible that's the word I'm looking for collapsible bladder for water it's like they have diff all kinds of different sizes but I thought um when the farm here didn't have water I could have gone to like um, there's a dog park that has a spigot or somewhere and filled up a big container and brought it back here and then I would have had water um, and, uh, I don't know where one is around here, but you could always use, like, a lake or a pond or something. The rivers, I don't know, was so flooded because we had so much water. I'm not sure how I feel about, I, I think I have to be pretty, pretty desperate, even though I have the Berkey. I think I have to be pretty, pretty desperate to get water out of those rivers, or creeks they were so overflowed and this area I don't know if it's like that all over the country or world it probably is and people just don't really talk about it but it's been a systemic problem of people having sewage dumped into the rivers and the creeks when there's flooding it's like the sewage treatment plant overflows like I, the one in town here dumped 3,000 gallons onto the asphalt and it all got washed away during the storm so I don't know I don't know how I feel about that but um yeah I think I need to have backup to water um a water supply as well so uh what else did I learn um I learned that even though I'm parked in my driveway or the driveway of my friend's farm, I can't rely on her resources. You know, anything can happen. And, um, I kind of forgot. I grew up in the country, so I know that when there's no power and you're on a well, you have no water. And, um, I was reminded of that when the power went back out. So, that was a bummer. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, want, I don't want to have to rely on anyone else's resources. Well, that's stupid. That's, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Of course you have to rely on other people's resources. You need gas and you need food. and you. But I want to be more self-sufficient. And another lesson that I learned um, that really is making me make a better plan is that I have got to prioritize keeping Kermit running, the coach, Kermit. Um, all of this, I could have, I have four wheel, or I have four wheels, I have six wheels. Motorhomes, my motorhome has six wheels. In all reality, all the power's out, no water here, you pack up and you go. I could have left town, I could have went to a campground out of the area that had everything I needed, and just left, and been, been fine. But, I have been poking around with the issues with Kermit's engine and the coolant leak and then the the um, water pump went and so I'm stuck in her driveway. I, I have the Jeep. I could have like left left in an emergency and gone it. Actually, because it was so hot the first two nights, I sincerely considered going to a hotel. Um, but it's expensive. It's really expensive to stay in a hotel. So, um... Yeah, I need to I need to realize where my priorities are and obviously um I want my life to be as comfortable as possible. I definitely have the privilege of having a roof over my head and I'm so thankful. I have a vehicle I have two vehicles and um you know, I have my basic needs met or I can figure out how to have my basic needs met and Sorry, I'm literally watching two baby kittens climb a tree right next to me. <laughs> and they just went Doop, up the tree. Pretty funny. Um, yeah, I, I need to make sure Kermit is in good running order. Like, that needs to be the priority. Do I need to put my money into um, building cabinets? I'd love it, but I need to put my money into making sure that Kermit is in good running order so that if I need to get out, want to get out, whatever it is, I can turn the key and go. And so, yeah, I learned that. Um, I just, I just wanted to give you an update and let you know the things that I learned. And hopefully we won't have power issues anymore so that I can be all good to go. Um, there's a mechanic... Um, actually the neighbor I was just telling you about, his son is like a backyard mechanic and I spoke to him a few times and he knows what he's doing, or I'm fairly confident he knows what he's doing, um, and can fix the water pump. I'm going to see if he can fix a couple other things for me, uh, and get Kermit up and, um, up and ready to go. Um, I'd like to take it out to New York to visit my family, um, and I'd also would like to, or I, we are, I have to get it ready because my best friend is taking me on a birth, well actually I'm taking her, I'm not really sure how this works. I am taking my best friend on a birthday trip for my birthday. So we're going to take, um, Kermit up north, well not up north, north. Um, we're not going to go over the bridge, but we're going to go see Lake Michigan and, um, I believe we're going to Leelanau, so I've never explored any of that side of the state, and I'm excited. But Kermit needs to be ready, and um, so I don't have a headache, we can have a good time. And yeah, that's the plan. So, um, my next video, the reason I'm standing over here, is that my next video is going to be about my sofa. Um... I'm still trying to figure out how, oh my gosh, the cat just fell out of the tree and off the Jeep. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is happening? It's literally raining cats out here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I gotta go. I gotta go check my kitten. But my next video is gonna be on my sofa. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to edit so that I can flip the camera around. Anyway, I gotta go check on this cat because she just fell really far, so I'll talk to you all later. Bye.